Um, real quick, everybody, before we get into the meat of today's content, I wanted to spend some time teaching my lovely imps how to get uh, uh, on board with Mastodon. Now, um, if that's something that would interest you, uh, go ahead and drop a hypers in chat. It's easier than you would think. And I figured, um, the Fediverse, I know the Fediverse. Okay. Before I get started on this particular segment, um, I am going to, I, I need you to understand this is a lay person's understanding of Mastodon. I am not like a programmer. I am not any of those things. So this is just going to be me explaining the basics so that you have a basic idea of what's going on. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll explain in, 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 in just a cup, uh, in just a couple seconds. Um, I'm trans, but I'm not a programmer. Oh, I know. Imagine that there's different types. It's like email. It's like email. You know how email works. It's like email. Arr! No, it's not. Okay. I mean, it kind of is, but it doesn't matter. Let me explain. I know it's like email literally, but, but nobody, but, but Grime Dango, nobody's going to understand what that means. It makes sense to you because you're looking at it from like, you're like a specialist in this shit. Yeah. Well, other people are like, what? Email? It's like mail. Email is just like mail. You write a letter and you send it to somebody. And to, I understand that the back end of the Fediverse operates like it. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right, we're doing the Mastodon segment, okay? All right. So, hold on. First, what is Mastodon and what is the Fediverse, okay? Hold on. I'm going to show you. We're doing a draw stream. That's right. That's right. It's a goddamn draw stream. I know. You, you could have never predicted this would be coming and happening right now soon in just a moment. Hold on, wait. There we go. All right, everybody. Let's do the Mastodon explanation. Bum, bum, bum. All right, we got to put this down here. Mastodon. Wait, I spelled that wrong. Mastodon and the Fediverse. My lovely imps. This is going to make me cringe. It will make you cringe and you are just going to have to cope about it because that's how it is. All right. So Twitter. First, I need to describe what Twitter is because a lot of you are going to be coming from Twitter. Okay. On Twitter. Oops. That's the wrong. Cool. That's the wrong tool. Oopsies. Twitter. Here we go. Twitter. And then we're going to go like this and then we're going to do Masto slash Fediverse. Bam. Okay. So Twitter is like this. Here is America. Twitter is basically like America. There's lots and lots of people inside and they're all sharing things back and forth. They're doing, they're, they're sharing memes. There's all these little, here, I'm going to draw actual little connections inside. Hold on. We'll use a little green for the connections. There's all kinds of little connections inside and they're going all over the place like this and people are connecting with each other and all this shit like that. And you're in America, but pretend that America was surrounded by this big wall called corporate ownership. All of America is basically run. It is one contiguous entity. Okay. That's what Twitter is like. It just like America is owned, is owned by the American state and controlled by a central authority. There's lots of things. There's lots of connections going on inside that aren't directly managed by the central authority. But at the end of the day, if somebody like, I don't know, let's draw Elmo here. Okay. Let's say Elmo decided to purchase, uh, decided to purchase, um, Twitter. Wait, we got to give him big eyes. Here we go. Boop, boop. And there's his little eyeballs here. See, Elmo can pay money. And now he owns 
all of Twitter. Does that make sense? So Elmo can purchase all of Twitter, and if he wants to, he can slap a big fat red X over the entire thing, and you can't use it, okay? There's Twitter, all right? So there's some drawbacks to Twitter. Now here, over here, is Mastodon. Now Mastodon, on the surface, looks like Twitter. You know, you have your little people, here's your little ID, and people are posting, and they can write their little posts, okay? So there's what it looks like. You got your little post over here, but the way that it functions is a little bit different. So instead of being like America, Mastodon or the Fediverse is like a bunch of little islands. We're gonna draw all the little islands here and some of them are tiny, some of them are really tiny, some of them are bigger, some of them are really, really big and a bunch of them are tiny, okay? Here we go, here you go. Do, 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 do. So there's all our little islands, right? Now, people on there are building bridges across all the different little islands, okay? And slowly and surely, all of the little islands start to get connected. So the posts are able to travel from all of the different islands and people are able to see them. And of course, many different connections exist from all the different islands you can imagine. And people are building all these different things. And you notice how, of course, yes, there are, of course, we'll put some meat, we'll put some bad ones, okay? Here's, here's a red island. We'll get to this in a minute, okay? Here's a red island. We'll put this as the Nazi island down here. Just pretend this is the Nazi island. Now, some of these might have bridges going to the Nazi island. However, because you get to control what is connected to your island, you can actually say, we are not going to connect to this island. So if somebody on your island says they wanna to connect to the Nazi island, you can put a big fat X on that, which is pretty cool because it means that the, the people who are running each of the different islands, which in this term, so that you can understand the terminology, is a um, instance or a server. These are the things that people call it, a Mastodon instance or a Mastodon server or a Fediverse server or a Fediverse instance. Um, now, all of this here, all of what you're seeing here, all of this is called the Fediverse as a whole. But each of these different instances are independent and they can choose which ones they want to connect to or not. Sounds like Second Life. We're gonna get there, hold on. So do you understand the difference here? Is this making sense? Twitter is one country and every single connection you are, you have to connect with every other person inside of that connection. Now you can block individual users, but you can't block like corners of Twitter because that tool doesn't exist because they don't want you to be able to do that. Twitter wants you to be connected to everyone on Twitter, no matter what, but they let you block individuals. On Mastodon, it is about individual servers connecting with one another and then people connecting within those. And you can of course block individuals if you want, but you can also block entire islands. Like for example, if you don't want to hang out with uh, fascist.mastodon.whatever. Uh, you, if you don't want to hang out with them, you can put a big X on it and none of their posts will make it to your version of, uh, to your instance of Mastodon, but everybody else can. So it's kind of cool. Now, people often get confused when they are uh, joining Mastodon. And one of the reasons why they get confused is because when you first join Mastodon, unlike Twitter, where you just go to Twitter and you're like, hi, I would like to sign up for Twitter. And then you have a Twitter account. On Mastodon, you have to make an account on a federated instance. So you have to basically pick an island that you want to be your home. And from there, you connect outwards. Now, so like say that you choose this big island. We'll, the big island we'll call like Mastodon Social. Um, there, are, uh, and I'll get into the specifics of this shortly. Um, the when, when you go to Mastodon and you make an account with a Mastodon server, you're making your home account on one of those servers. Now, this is where it gets interesting. While it is possible that say, let's say that Elmo shows up and he decides he wants to buy one of these Mastodon islands, 
He can do that. He would be able to purchase this big island, maybe, depending on the circumstances. He would be willing, he, he could pretend, potentially buy this island right here. But he can't buy all of the islands. So even if he buys this island and this particular island turns to shit and a lot of people start turning off their connections to this island because it's full of Nazis now, that just means that this island is gone. All of the other islands still remain. Not only that, but it's incredibly easy to migrate your followers, your uh, your your posts, etc., over to another server if you so desire it. So say that Elon, I mean Elmo, comes and purchases your big island. You can go ahead and you, your little user here, you can pack up and you can move over, say, to this island here without any real challenge. Now there might be, um, you can't actually transfer your posts though. You can't transfer all of your posts, but it depends on the server and um, the posts in and of themselves. There's a lot to it. No, you can't transfer everything. There would still be a loss, but the loss is significantly less. And the reason for that is because the network, the Fediverse still remains. So Twitter, one big chunk, Fediverse, many different islands. Got it? Does that making sense? Here, let's do a quick poll. Yes or no? Okay, good. I understand. That makes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Yes, the string that I'm drawing is a technology called Activity Pub. Now, again, I am not a, a uh, like a, a technological expert. I'm not a web dev or even a social media dev person. But Activity Pub is really interesting because actually, as it turns out, uh, a bunch of large platforms are considering using ActivityPub. For example, Tumblr is soon going to be publishing things to ActivityPub, which means that in the future, it might actually be possible to subscribe from your Mastodon instance to people's Tumblr blogs, which that's pretty cool. That's really awesome. The idea that you could you, a, a Mastodon user, could just log on to your timeline and you, in the future you might be able to see things from people's Tumblr blogs. Facebook has also uh, begun considering whether they're going to use ActivityPub, though we don't know if that's going to happen. It's not for sure. Regardless, it's pretty awesome. So, um, so now comes to the part, well, how do I get started up on Mastodon? And thankfully, I've got you all a very useful link, okay? This is it right here, okay? And I'm gonna show you what's on this link, okay? Link is in the chat. Link is in the chat. If uh, I'll be posting this throughout the conversation, okay? But I'm gonna show you what this looks like. There is a website called servers, or called joinmastodon.org forward slash servers. Now, this is not an exhaustive list of all servers, but it is a lot a lot of servers. You can choose by your geographical region. You can choose by topic. For example, let's go and take a look at, let's go to activism, okay? Here under activism, you have disabled.social, a place for people who are chronically ill, mentally ill, disabled, and friends and families, allies to come together, meet, share knowledge, meet, and sh meet share knowledge, and random banter, and just about anything else. So you can see five different servers here, and you can't, some of them are open. So for example, this is the one I'm going to be recommending to people in just a minute. Collectiva.social uh, has an open registration. All you have to do is click create an account and then you'll be taken directly to the Mastodon page for Collectiva.social and then you can make an account there. Now, choosing a server, there's a couple of things that choosing a server does. Choosing a server is basically like choosing your home planet or your home island to stick with the metaphor that we were using before. Uh, your home island does not determine all of the posts that you will see. Your home island just determines what posts you're going to see first. So if you choose, uh, for example, I am on a private Mastodon instance. It's me and like my housemates and then like one or two other close friends are on our little private Mastodon instance. And what that means is that I can look and just see uh, if I want to, I can 
like the way that you set up Macedon is you can look at your home timeline, which is just things from your home island, or you can look at the federated timeline. And the federated timeline pulls things from all of the different places that your island has bridges built to, okay? So it's pretty cool. So Matt, let me go here and let me just uh, give you a second little drawing here, okay? So the way to understand this is how it goes. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. So here we have, let me just bring this up. Here we go. So let's say here's your little island, right? It's a little bean. And then you've decided that this island here is going to be your home island. Now your timeline, which looks exactly like Twitter, Mastodon looks identical to Twitter almost. Like it's literally got like the little tweet window. You have a little home timeline. You can customize it more because obviously, um, but that's what it is. Now, there's a bunch of other islands here. Let's see this, okay? Let's see, and then we'll have a big one over here. Now, on your little island, there's a bunch of different people, okay? And people are gonna start building bridges to all these different islands based on the people that they follow. And what that means is that what this translates into, I'm gonna draw this over here real quick. I'm gonna draw a little gray line here what this actually translates into is a whole bunch of really cool little posts from people. And all of these are coming from the accumulated connections that your server has to other servers. So there's going to be lots and lots and lots of posts. And of course, as more and more people make connections, there will be more and more and more content, which is super cool. I do wish there was an optional optional curation algorithm. Seeing just latest posts is nice, but sometimes something might stay relevant longer, but it will fall out of the latest posts. There are likely to be in the future instances that use some type of curation algorithm, but right now they're not very popular for a number of reasons. Um, virality is not as big of a deal on Mastodon. Uh, let me explain a couple of things about the experience of Mastodon. Now, uh, I should be clear, I have been getting a ton of followers on Mastodon. And uh, I'm going to post my Mastodon right here, right now. Hold on. Uh, let me just bring this up real quick for you. So here you go. Right here. It, that is my Mastodon link. If you want to, If you want to add me, all you need to do is copy that name and type it into your search bar and you'll be able to connect with me. Um, and it's super great. Now, depending on the server that you're on, there is occasionally, depending on your home server, there is sometimes a delay in, in, in being able to bring over all of the posts and whatever that you're following. But honestly, I've not really had that be a major issue. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, so there's a couple of different things. Um, please do shoot me a follow on Mastodon. Um, right now, my little private server is not, we do not have enough, uh, we don't have enough set up for people to join ours. However, what I would recommend is that you go join up with collectiva.social. That's my personal recommendation. Collectiva.social is a Mastodon instance, so little island, um, that is devote. it is, was made by anarchists and it's designed for general lefty content. So like tons of lefties are in there. Tons of shit posters are in there. It's huge right now. Collectiva has gotten really, really big. And uh, there's a lot of content on there. So if you join that one, it's an established server. So you'll already see lots and lots of posts. And you'll actually probably see lots of people you already know posting there. Um, there's also tons of other options on that website that I showed you before, which is uh, joinmastodon.org forward slash servers. So if you are, uh, if you want to, to, to like pick through servers and Collectiva doesn't sound like the right pick, then go ahead and check out joinmastodon.org forward slash servers. You can browse through and find a home server that is uh, better for you. Do you have to be an anarchist to join? Nope, it's just general lefties. It was anarchists who founded it, but it's just general lefty stuff. Um, what, what I mean by that is that it's a friendly space for lefties. So there's no Nazis. They do, they actively do not connect to any Nazi shit. Um, they are very, very stringent about not connecting to fucking hate content, which is awesome in my opinion. Um, the one you linked has like four people. 
No. Okay. Uh, if you're if you're talking about um. Uh, an masto.anarch.cc that is my private instance no, no right now nobody can join that one that's just my string D at demon mama at masto.anarch.cc that's my username so you can connect with me so it's a little in that aspect it's a slight bit more clumsy than um twitter is because uh because you have to add like you have to add the server that you're on as well. I'm sure that over time that will become easier um, as people figure out like, you know, shortcuts and short links and whatever, but it's not that big of a deal. It is like email. Yes. It, think of it like email. Demon Mama at mastodon.anarch.cc. That's my email address and you can connect to my email address, but you're at, but it's, but you get to see my posts. And also, you'll get to see posts from people that I retweet. And over time, you're going to build tons and tons of connections. Now, um, like I said, Macedon does not have the same viral focus that Twitter does. Twitter, because it's, because it's an advertising platform, Twitter is very focused on virality. But let's be real, guys. Can we be 100% real for... Um, can we be 100% real for a second? How often do you actually give a, an absolute shit about fucking viral tweets? Cause uh, I don't, I don't ever give a shit about viral tweets. There's like once in a great while I'll give a shit about a viral tweet. Uh, most viral tweets are garbage. So um, yeah. Oh my god, I've already gained like 20 new followers since I just posted this. This is awesome. Hell yeah! By the way, I'm gonna be following back. A ton of you because we're trying to build up our connections so if you're following me now there's a pretty good chance that i will uh i will throw you a follow back um can't promise anything but if i see you and it's a name i recognize i will probably give you a uh, follow back um there's a ton again there's a ton of different mastodon instances you can choose from um but that all that that determines is your home island and uh and what connections are made so like if you join like a really small Mastodon instant, instance, they might have preferences and you might want to choose a different one. But the home island just determines like what bridges are being built. And most servers are going to be connected to a lot of other islands. Um, yeah. Uh, now, of course, as time goes on, this is it's only going to get better as long as there's more users. This is true about any social media. This was true about Twitter. Uh, when Twitter started, it was a barren wasteland of boomer posts. But as more people got on and connected to it, um, the cool thing about, um, about Mastodon and the Fediverse as a whole is that there's already a ton of different servers that have been existing for a long time. Mastodon and the Fediverse have been around for quite a long time, and that means that there's already tons of posts to see. Oh yeah, as Grime Dango mentioned, there's a thing called Hometown, which is a fork of Mastodon that doesn't connect with any other ones. Actually, this is a fun fact. Did you know? Did you know that Truth Social is a uh, is a version of Mastodon that doesn't federate? Unironically, it's just an island that has no other connections outside of it. It's a mini Twitter, but run on open source software, or at least partially on open source software. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's go through the basics again. The Fediverse is like a string of islands with tons and tons of strands. Death Stranding, get it? Tons and tons of strands going between them. Those strands are called Activity Pub. It's the thing that makes it all work. You can connect to people from all different islands, provided that your island doesn't ban that that domain. But unless you're trying to connect to some pretty sketch stuff, chances are that's not going to be a problem for you. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, from there, uh, you just need to... Uh, Oh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. So there's the whole Fediverse, which is all the islands being connected to one another via these activity pub strands. You, as a user, choose a home island to build your little profile on, and then you start connecting to everybody else. And as you find other people, as people find you, um, then you will build all kinds of new connections. Now, the cool thing, too, that makes it really fun is that um, the thing that makes it really cool is that 
what you connect to will be shared to your island. So, uh, if, like, say if I follow Gayfesh, okay? Gayfesh is on, on a different instance than I am. If I follow Gayfesh, people on my island will see posts from Gayfesh because one of the inhabitants of their island is following Gayfesh. So that the home timeline is made up of what everybody on your island is following and is interested in. It's super cool. The more people who join an island, the more diverse and interesting your timeline will get. Very fun. So, yeah. Lots of people use Mastodon.social because it's a big popular server, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. The home server is not all that important, minus a few little details. Of course, there's a ton more to learn if you want to go beyond a lay person's understanding, but I highly recommend, uh, I recommend collectiva.social, um, but you can choose tons of other ones if you so desire it. Um, and, uh, again, I, 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 I've been having, I mean, I've gained so many followers. It's actually growing faster than any of my other, um, social media. I've been posting on here a ton. I, I, I created this like a couple of days ago and I'm already at, I've already gained 250 followers very organically, which is super, super cool. So I would love to see more of you on there. Um, is it a new Twitter replacement? Actually, it's a Twitter replacement that's been around for a while. Uh, Capo says, it's also worth noting you can move to a new server at any time fairly easily. Just pick one that looks cool to you. It's not a huge deal. Yes, you can export your follower and follow list, and it's very easy to migrate to another server in most cases, which is super cool. Nothing will replace Twitter. Well, we're going to we're gonna talk about that actually a little bit. Uh, do you have a recommendation for a person who may be a content creator for a starting island? Um, I mean, again, I do recommend... Um, I do recommend, I, personally, if you're a lefty, I think Collective is pretty good. There's also a ton of other ones. Infernatrix Sophia says there's Pleroma instances on the Fediverse. Pleroma is another, uh, another Fediverse, uh, tool that's similar to Mastodon. It's not technically Mastodon, but it can connect with Mastodon. So yeah, there's Pleroma is on there as well. There's a lot of people who use Pleroma, but... As far as you're concerned, unless you're running the server, you're probably not going to notice the difference. Yeah, uh, Capo also says, it's worth noting that all of the servers on joinmastodon.org are required to agree to the Mastodon server covenant. The server covenant is basically like a global, a not a global, but it's a, a large popular TOS that says, hey, we don't allow this type, we don't allow violence, we don't allow this. So Matt, think of it like a basic TOS for a website. And if you're finding one on joinmastodon.org, you will be connected to one who has agreed to follow those TOS. So it's pretty cool. Yep, mass, uh, oh, I don't know about that, about mastodon.art, but okay. Um, there's a lot of different ones. And remember, um, Flop says, the great thing about instance migration is that your old handle continues to stick around on your old instance and will forward you to the new handle. Again, there's a lot of features that make Mastodon. This is the thing that's really important about Mastodon and the Fediverse. The Fediverse is resistant to takeovers like what happened with Twitter. And that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Yes, you sacrifice some virality, but I don't care about virality. My posts are getting lots of interesting engagement and I'm having a good time browsing my timeline on Mastodon. In fact, I've started using Mastodon more than any other social media aside from YouTube and Twitter, which are where, where I've been for the most. So pretty fucking cool. Um, now, of course, no one knows for sure like how big Mastodon's gonna get. You can never know any of these things, but I personally think it's worth getting comfortable with because I bet you're gonna have a good time on there. So, yep.